Hello everyone, in this video we'll demonstrate how to create a VIA profile with blind and buried VIAs. Creating a VIA profile is done through the layer stack manager and once there you click at the VIA types tab here in the bottom. As a default you'll always have one through whole VIA type in your profile and adding a new VIA type is as easy as clicking on the plus sign here. Once you add a new VIA type it will default to a blind via from the top layer to the second layer of your design. The properties of this via can be then changed from the right on the properties panel, where you can set the blind via to start and finish on different layers. Since a blind via connects an outer layer to one or more inner layers, but doesn't go through the entire board, it has to start from either the top or bottom layer. So let's keep the first layer as the top and change the last layer to the third. As you can see, the blind via now extends to the third layer. Let's create another blind via that starts from the bottom and extends to the sixth layer. So let's select the first layer as the bottom layer and the last layer as the sixth layer. You can also create mirrored blind vias if you check mirror and your stack is symmetrical. And as you can see, when I check the mirror, it's giving me an error here that's saying that I have a duplicate blind via. So I can just simply delete the first one. To add buried via is the same process, so let's add another via, and again it defaults to a blind via. Since a buried via creates connections of the inner layers, which have no contact with the outer layers, we need to simply make sure the first and last layers are not the outer layers of this via in order to change it to buried via. So let's change the first layer to the third layer, and you can see it automatically changed to a buried via, and the last layer automatically changed to the next layer, which is the fourth, which also can be changed. And the mirroring also works with buried vias the same way we showed for blind vias. You can have as many vias as your design need, and once you save the profile, they can be used during routing. You can also make sure your buried and blind via sizes are set correctly during routing through your design rules in their routing via style. Here you can set a custom query for when you place a blind or buried via by using the is buried via or is blind via custom query. Thank you for watching.